not only are we learning you know, uh, a tradition that's been around for thousands of generations, but we're also learning quite a bit about ourselves. These drums didn't start out like this. Hours of soaking, stringing, and hard work went into them, as well as a spiritual connection. In the Cree culture, it begins with the hide of an elk, moose, buffalo, or deer being cut and soaked overnight. Then it's strung to the wooden frame. Each technique has its own story, and no two drums are exactly alike. It takes a lot of patience because uh, you have to go around again and again and again. Uh, and you can't rush it because if you rush it, it falls apart. And that's a really good lesson. Shenyan is Cree, Anishinaabe, and Metis. She's been making drums for 10 years. Her journey began with a reconnection to herself. It was my way to really reclaim who I was as an Indigenous woman, as an artist, and really as a spiritual being. Now she facilitates a reconnection for others. <laughs> There's people that have grown up without their culture, and this is their way to reconnect and take that um, piece of themselves that maybe is missing uh, to be able to um, understand it on a deeper, in a deeper way and share it with the world. <laughs> and uh, every time, we, we just trust that whoever's meant to be here will be here. Each workshop is Shenyan's way to foster reconciliation while creating a deeper sense of community. That's what drum making is. It's, it's a way to bring together community in a good way. In Calgary, Taylor Brott, City News.